Hello everybody, my name is Bleaker and welcome back to MapQuest, the Portal Quist the Portal Crystals, your official playthrough of the game. Now, when we left off, we just got our first portal crystal in the what do we call this thing? The Stonewall Village, and now we're on our way to carry on with our quest, which is to enter the Pine Forest and get to the Hay Bale Village. Now I'll tell you what. Or you might get sidetracked here a little bit. Thank you. Pine Forest, home of the elves. Oh, there, there is a direct way to Haybell Village, but I don't recommend we take it. I'm about to explain, and I'm about to show you why. Hello. Uh, welcome to the Pine Forest, home of us elves. You look, you look strong, adventurer, and the Elven Council needs your help. Follow the signs on the trees oh, to reach the Elven Council, please. Follow the signs on the trees, on the trees, and the path to reach the Elven Council. Please hurry. There we go. Thought he rhymed there. Options, your settings. Hang on, the sound is like blasting in my ear. Ah, oh, there, and I can. And hear myself think. While we're here, I'm not going to need the binoculars. Portal crystals right in there. Is there anything over here? No, there isn't. Keep going. The Elven Council chamber is ahead. Detour first. Got that money. Uh, where to next? Um, oh, there's the ladder. You're going to need a lot of money in this game, let me tell you right away. Money is going to be king in this game. Ooh, a 10. A little bit more money. I think there's a couple more chests, or is it just the two? It looks like it might just be the two. That's fair. Excellent. Broke my knees both times on the way out. I want to say there's something for here, but I don't quite remember. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I really don't know. But yes, I highly recommend that you do speak to the Elven Council here. And uh, you actually get some pretty kick-butt rewards. Hedge Maze. Um, there we go. That's not the only thing in this hedge maze. <laughs> uh, I'm such a cheaty bastard. So climb up here, I'm pretty sure there's more money. Yes, there was more money. And there's a whole brewing stand thing up here if you really want to. I'm just going to eat some cake and dip. Anything else around in here? No. I was just here mostly for the cake. There we go. Um, Elven Council Chambers ahead. Yeah, set the spawn point here. Oh, what's that? Is that the symbol for a portal crystal? I do believe so. Yeah, that's right. You get a portal crystal for helping out the elves. So again, you should really help out the elves. The Elven Council. There we go. Oh, nope. Up one more. There we go. And Elven Council. There you are. By the Elven Council, we welcome you, Bleaker. Yes, we are the Tree Elves. And the Council would like to ask you for a favor. Yeah, sure. Our home in the Tree Trunks has been overtaken by green mites. We need you to go there and clear it out so it's safe to us. Um, you can also have our sacred crystal in return for helping us, Portal Crystal. I'm sure you would find a nice Elven bow, some arrows while you're there. Yes, I would like to help you. Now stand on the golden blocks. 
Ah, there they are. And, uh, wood mites. Why a race of powerful elves can't take on wood mites is beyond me, but whatever. I will aid them nonetheless. Oh, one more. These are hard to hit. There we go. Oh, you did it! Thank you. Now we can. Now you can return. Now we can return home again. There we go. This is why we did this quest. This Elven's Y hander is super good. You can see it's got a really fast recharge rate on the, whatever the special ability is supposed to be, the slash. But I'm more concerned about what's upstairs. But no, this Elven's Y hander made it through pretty much the whole game for me. So if we climb up the ladder, I don't believe there's anything here. No, nothing of importance. Nothing that I really care about. And, um, oops, still nothing. Oh, that's right, it's up here. Now you will notice that you can't actually walk off the tree, which is super nice. Yay! Arrows, and their awesome bow. Actually, this bow is not too bad. Most because it never breaks, so I, that's, like, a lot of relief. I deposit some of this money. Empty bottle, perfect. Now, the only downside is we gotta climb all the way down. Which is a very slow... ...and painful process. Emphasis on painful. Jeez. I'm brutal on my kneecaps. Thank you. Thank you, High Elf. Oh. Oh. Ladder there. <laughs> Missed. Now we can actually head to the Hay Bell Village. So everything that the elves have to offer us. Pretty sure, yes, I'm pretty sure we've done everything the elves have to offer us. And the Hay Bale Village is this way. Here we go. Now we're back on track. So that's two portal crystals, and I do believe these are the first two portal crystals that you can actually get. Again, you need to follow the main quest line. My biggest advice to you, to people who are stuck, follow the quest line. From after you finish this up, you should have pretty much every area in the game unlocked or you should have readily available access to the rest of the areas in the map. Okay, they'll village this way, it's this way. Hang on, I gotta check something here really fast. I think this is a alternate route to the Haybell Village, but I don't really want to take the alternate route because there's really not that much for us to do. Set spawn point. Look at this map, let's just take a second to admire how good this map looks. I mean, seriously, a guy spends two years on this map. This thing is beautiful. We are going to want to do this one. Parkour course for a crystal. It is optional, because we only need 15. A portal alternative crystal can be found elsewhere across the lands, but since we're a completionist campaign, we're going to do it. You may recall this shot from the Minecraft trailer that I made. Shameless plug. Sorry that I'm not talking during this portion. I'm highly concentrated. And not like orange juice concentrated. There we go. Yeah, crap. There we go. Then parkour. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Nice. I really hope this is the end of it. Nope, we're still going here. Oh, if I can make this first shot, I will be... 
exceptionally pleased with myself. Hey, first shot. So that's three portal crystals, and Mick is so kind to let the ladder down for me. So while that's going on, so that's our third portal crystal, and it does keep track over there off to the right. That is my right, 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 right. So that's two portal crystals in a single episode. I think we're doing really good. Okay. So then set the spawn point there. So that's a the elven portal crystal and the parkour park cr portal crystal. Now, coming up here is probably the most... Ooh, there is something over here, if I remember. I don't quite remember how to get to it. Oh, wait. There we go. There's something right here. There's one more thing around here. Yeah, you notice that that's locked? That's because... There's a, the key is around here somewhere. If I remember, the key's in this tree. I just don't remember how to get in there. Hang on. We're going to investigate this because i got a little bit of time before I'm going to end the episode here. I know there's something around here. So I remember discovering this completely on accident. I just wasn't meant to discover it quite yet. <laughs> okay, so the time re remain time being that will just remain a mystery. Albeit that kind of sucks. Because I remember the loot there being semi-good. There was a hole in the ground somewhere here. How did I find that? Well, this I do need. Because I don't want the portal crystal on me. You don't lose inventory for dying, but I still don't like the portal crystals on me. Just in case something were to happen. Oh well, I guess we'll figure that one out later. So coming up here is probably the most important asset to your adventures. To your adventures. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Bill Village. Hey, Bill Village. Straight ahead. Distant voice. Hey, over here. Yes, Diamond. Hello. I heard all about your quest. You should go look at the world map here. It'll show you all the towns, er, the town areas, and where all the dungeons and stuff are. Yes, that is correct. It does. Which is why this is the most important asset to you in your adventures. So as you can see here, it can show us where villages are. Look at that. Every village. It'll also show you dungeons. So there's a level 2 dungeon, 3, 4, 1. And it shows you their rough location. Now the one that I'm most concerned about is dungeons. Show provinces. That's the map quest info. Code fragments. It will show you code fragments. And um, if you've done a code fragment, it'll actually show a little completed sign next to it. There was a button for um, crystals. I wonder where that went. Huh. Could have swore there was a button for crystals when I played through, when I did the beta test. And yeah, binoculars, look at the map, stay on the red line for best view. Yeah, finished. to this map when looking for a town it even shows you where the code fragments are located uh -huh. oh, 
that's a shame. That's a shame. It used to show the uh, portal crystal locations. That's how I was going to get this map done. Oh well. Provinces is still pretty cool. See all the icons I'm not using anymore. And uh, on our adventure we go. So right here is the hay bale village. And you will notice, coming up here, that you're not able to get in it. Look at that, Hey Bell Village, keep out. So you will notice there's no way to get in here. Now what you actually have to do is you have to go talk to some people here. Uh, the info guy here will like give you hints and stuff, because there's a lot of people to talk to in this vicinity, but I think I need the house over here. Basically a good way to tell if uh, a character is important, it'll be a named character. Ron Jonald. Oh, uh, you're an important quest. All right, you always find a secret below the tree. I heard that's how you get in the Haybell Village. That is true, that is exactly how you get in the Haybell Village. I'm just gonna very first rob him blind, like the hero I am. So he has nothing. Awkward. Oh, there's the chest. Now we're talking. Alright guys, not that this hasn't been the time of my life and I haven't felt this way before, but I swear, this is true, I owe it all to you. We're gonna have to end the episode right there. Um, when we come back next time, we will get into the Hay Bale Village. And, is this... Find another teleport, I need to find one more teleport to unlock this hub. More money. That. Uh, when we come back, we will actually get into the Hay Bale Village. Um, I just got to remember which house it is. So there's a couple of them. It's not that guy. It's not that guy. I know that one for a fact. I think it was that house over there. But yeah, when we come back, we will get into the Hay Bale Village, and we'll see why everything is all locked up. But until then, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. <laughs>